Dinga led the Azmi Olomuja coalition, condemning the ongoing clashes along the Sundu and the Kericho Kisumu border, blaming local politicians for the killings witnessed so far. The leaders have, however, called on the government to ensure that sanity is restored. Mervyn Gitembe in our reports. <laughs> With the tension still high along Kericho Kisumu border clashes, as new leaders now want all those involved in the clashes to be brought to book, as they insist that the clashes have been politically motivated, with Kericho governor among those blamed by the opposition leader. Let's make no mistake the violence and mayhem in Sundu is not an ordinary disagreement between villagers. Big names are behind this violence. They include leaders and politicians from neighboring counties and in the national government. We view these latest incidents in Sondu as part of a long, off and on history of violence instigated by politicians who have on numerous occasions incited the different communities against each other and local leaders who have been implicated in these activities. Led by Rai Laudinga, the leaders claim the violence is sponsored by some local politicians calling on the government to prioritize restoring peace in the area as a situation will get out of hand if there will be no intervention. The national insecurity in the country is a matter of great national concern to everybody. We cannot just sit and watch as innocent Kenyans are being butchered in their homes. You've seen what is happening there in Sundu. Houses being touched, people being burnt inside their homes. This is something that is horrible. In this regard, we call upon Parliament to immediately summon the CS of Interior. Now that his defense counterpart appeared before the Senate yesterday, and he actually ducked this question. He passed the buck to his Interior a counterpart. According to the coalition, Kenya Kwanza government has failed to address security issues in the country, especially in the North Rift region, calling on the resident to resist once invited to engage in violence. We must never forget that the government has so far failed to address various incidents of insecurity. We wish to assure the innocent residents of Sondu from either side of the border that we are in solidarity with them. We urge the residents to put down their arms and to embrace each other as brothers and sisters who have lived alongside each other for years. Mevin Getembe, Look Up TV, Nairobi. Switching gears, the universities fund and higher education 